Hi, my name is Gabriella, and welcome to Happy Tales. If you are looking to adopt your next forever friend, or new to the area and looking for resources, you are at the right place, Menifee. You can't buy love, but you can rescue it here at Animal Friends of the Valleys. Welcome, Menifee, to another episode of Happy Tales. Did you know every Wednesday from 3 to 4.30, you and the kiddos can come read to the animals here at Animal Friends of the Valleys? Now, this program is free and ran by Huey's Heroes, and we're actually going to meet with some of the volunteers to learn how this program got started. It's Wednesday and we are here at Animal Friends of the Valleys for the Huey's Heroes reading program and I have Sherry, a volunteer. Tell us a little bit about this program every Wednesday at 3 o'clock. We've got it live. It's happening here. Yes, we meet every Wednesday from 3 to 4.30. The shelter is actually open till 7 so that people can actually stay with their children beyond 4.30. We have adults True. that do it as well. Yeah. can come in and read to the animals. It's beneficial for the children to get their uh, reading skills in, uh, yes. practice. Also for the animals, they love to see the kids come up to them and it makes them more adoptable. Yes. It gets them more uh, socialized with people. Yes. And this is such a community event because just as you said, it's open to all ages. Yes. It's free. It's here at the shelter. It benefits both. Now we also have t-shirts you can give back to the shelter a little bit and Huey's Heroes. Yes, got Huey on the front, on the back he's reading to the kids. <laughs> so it goes along with the theme. Yes. Um, and we also have some books. We have a little library over to the left that was uh, made by some Boy Scouts uh, for the reading program. So we have plenty of books. It's also, uh, if anybody ever has any that they would like to donate, yeah. I was accepting of child-friendly books. Great, yeah, good reminder. Now, it'd be a shame to not shed any light on Mr. Huey here. And his story, you cannot shed a tear without reading. Sure. And we won't get into the details, but just, you know, give us a little bit of a, a story uh, on that. A friend of Tracy Life's friend who is the founder of the program uh, and the foundation, uh, a friend of hers found Huey uh, just up against the fence one day. He had been tossed. He was used as a bait dog. Um, one for fighting dogs. He was in really bad shape. Um, she contacted Tracy. Tracy took him, spent a lot of time and effort and love to get him back to uh, to a healthy position. And she decided to start the reading program in his honor. Hmm, such a beautiful yes. story. And we're still doing it. That's still doing so it. We're awesome. We're going to continue as long as there's interest. Yes. Well, yes. thank you so much, Sherry. It's awesome. And I'm so happy to see these kiddos coming in. We got yes. some more coming into the door. And again, such an amazing opportunity. Yes.